Some of those vaccines already here in Utah at select Intermountain Healthcare hospitals. ABC 4's Jared Giacinini is live from the Tosh Orthopedic Clinic there in Murray with who these doses are for, Jared. Well, Brian, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is for folks in smaller communities. The vaccine already at select Intermountain Hospitals in smaller areas like the one here in Tosh uh, Orthopedic Specialty Hospital in Murray. I think it's great. Dr. Jared Gray at Intermountain in Cedar City is talking about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine being allocated to smaller health centers first. See more of my neighbors and more of my patients and more of their family get vaccinated uh, after what we witnessed through the winter uh, is really heartwarming. According to the USDA, 335,000 Utahns live in a rural community. Easier to be in clinics, which is where the majority of people will get the vaccine from. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine requires one dose and does not require special storage. Officials say it is better suited for smaller hospitals. The lack of travel, needing to drive, you know, an hour, an hour and a half to to seek medical care if you only have to do that one time versus twice. In coordination with state guidelines, those 18 and older are approved to get the Johnson & Johnson shot, along with all others with qualifying age or medical conditions. The big picture I understood is that it will be rolled out through the health departments and also local clinics. So this vaccine has been shown to be 100% protective against hospitalizations and death and 85% protective against severe disease uh, for all the variants uh, worldwide. Dr. Gray says this is a great next step and hopes more access to a vaccine could help slow the spread and a potential spike in cases come spring. Prevent people from dying and to prevent severe illness. Dr. Gray says these smaller hospitals are rolling out this vaccine with the help of the state and the CDC. The only potential problem could be a delay in shipments, folks not getting the vaccine who want it. Reporting live, Jared Jotinini, ABC4 News.